Here's a question for you today. What is the coolest phone you can possibly buy today? Not cool as in cold, but cool as in awesome, sick, dope, amazing. Well, that phone isn't just one phone. It's actually three phones in my opinion. And that little series of phones is the Moto Z lineup. If I say the Moto Z is cool, it is because of the overall wow factor. It's not the best phone you can possibly buy, but it sure is definitely one of the coolest. Let's touch on a few major points. First, that design. The Moto Z looks beautiful. It's crazy thin at 5mm, built out of premium materials, and has no headphone jack. Adapter included though. However, the pins at the back for the mods do stand out as they're not hidden very well, and I've noticed that the gold bar at the back scratches very easily. The Moto Z Play looks similar, but is thicker, has a headphone jack, and a glass back. It still looks and feels fantastic, but the wow factor definitely goes to that standard Moto Z. Now, how about those mods? Probably the coolest thing about these new phones. All the mods snap onto the back and stay on, but some wobble a bit, but they all pretty much work flawlessly. They do get very pricey, but here are a few examples. The back covers add a unique look and a phenomenal in-hand feel, changing how your phone looks very easily. The JBL speaker system sounds great, adds more battery and a kickstand. It's like having a Bluetooth speaker always on you. The Incipio battery cover is very thin but adds 2200 mAh more battery to your phone. The projector is sick. It gives more battery, offers a kickstand, and it projects your screen. It's super easy to use and projects a 70 inch image. It's not going to be amazingly sharp, but the quality is surprisingly great and I've watched full movies just like this. I just wish it had some awesome speakers built in, but you can always pair a Bluetooth speaker. And the Hasselblad camera mod? I made a full video on it. Check it out now, card on screen, or link in the description. My personal favorite mods are the projector and battery pack as they just work so well. Next, the display of this phone is phenomenal. It's 5.5 inches, quad HD, and AMOLED, and things just look amazing on this panel as it is super vibrant. Also, if you wave your hand on top of the display when the phone is sleeping, it shows the time and notifications. The panel on the Z Play is good too, but it's 1080p and doesn't look as awesome as the Z. It's noticeable side by side, but not much anywhere else. The Moto Z is the flagship phone, while the Z Play is the mid-range phone. This means that the Z gets high in specs while the Z Play gets mid-range specs. But the Z Play shines in its battery size with a massive 3510 mAh battery compared to the Z's 2600 mAh battery. Expect a day or day and a half of usage on the Z while the Z Play easily gets 2 days or more, especially with the power efficient specifications inside. Regardless, the phones perform quite equally and I could use either one daily. To be a great phone in my eyes, it has to have a great camera. The Z has a 13 megapixel camera, while the Z Play has a 16 megapixel camera. Photos do look similar, but the Moto Z photos tend to look better, especially with added optical image stabilization and some other additions too. Here are a few of my favorite shots taken on my adventures with the Moto Z. To conclude, the Moto Z series of phones has to be one of the coolest phone lineups ever made and probably the coolest sort of series of phones you can possibly buy on the market right now. But it does get very, very expensive. So let's say you bought a Moto Z, one back cover, speaker system, a battery pack, the projector, and the camera. You're looking at about $1,500 total in the US and much more in Canada. Wow. Motorola claims these mods will work with future phones, but still, you gotta be seriously dedicated to this line of phones to buy this expensive set. And that's it. That's the Moto Z and its Moto Mods. Like the video if you liked it, comment down below your thoughts on this Moto Z series of phones, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.